Have you ever walked past a bakery and the smell of fresh bread just hits you? It's incredible, right? You get so excited, you buy a loaf, take a big bite, and it's good, but it doesn't quite taste as amazing as it smelled. Or maybe you smelled a rich, dark coffee brewing and thought, this is going to be the best cup ever, only to find the taste is much milder. Why does this happen? Why does food often smell so much stronger and more complex than it tastes? Well, it all comes down to the fascinating science of our senses. Our sense of smell is incredibly sophisticated. Your nose is a powerhouse, capable of detecting hundreds, even thousands of different volatile organic compounds. These are tiny molecules that float off the food and travel through the air into your nasal passages. When you smell that fresh bread, you're not just smelling bread. You're re-smelling a complex symphony of compounds, created by the Mellard reaction, the browning of the crust, plus the yeasty, warm notes from the inside. Your brain processes all this information and creates a rich, detailed scent profile. Now let's talk about taste. Your tongue, on the other hand, is a bit more straightforward. It's mainly equipped to detect just five basic tastes, sweet, sour, salty, bitter, and umami. That's it. When you bite into that bread, your taste buds are really only picking up on some slight sweetness from the starches and a bit of saltiness. It's a much simpler message. So where does all that flavor we experience actually come from? The secret is that most of what we perceive as taste is actually smell. It's a phenomenon called retronasal olfaction. As you chew, food releases more of those volatile compounds. But instead of going in through your nostrils, they travel up the back of your throat into your nasal cavity from the inside. Your brain then combines the simple signals from your taste buds with the complex signals from your sense of smell to create the overall perception of flavor. This is why when you have a cold and your nose is all stuffed up, food tastes so bland. Your taste buds are working fine, but your smell receptors are blocked, so you're missing out on most of the flavor profile. The smell is what carries the flavor. The next time something smells way stronger than it tastes, you'll know why. Your nose is the real gourmet, picking up on all the intricate details, while your tongue is just sticking to the basics. It's a perfect partnership that makes eating such a wonderful experience. Thanks for watching. It's. If you found this fascinating, don't forget to like and subscribe for more deep dives into the science of everyday life. See you in the next one.